and welcome to another episode of Reboot Robots r r Collectibles. Hello, welcome back to Reboot Robot. I am Carlos Charlie and I have these huge boxes behind me. They're Iron Studio Sentinel figures. Uh, let's see if I can get a bigger shot, like right there, huge one, huge box. Both boxes are as almost as big as me. Probably get a better shot like this, but yeah, here's like are the boxes. Uh, yeah, these are just huge. I don't think I could actually put these in my room at the same time. So it's going to be pretty much one by one. But uh, yes, it's uh, X-Men vs. Sentinel uh, 2 and 3. One I could not get. One is sold out. I'll talk about that later. And also I got the cherry on top here. Stan Lee. I think this is like a 10th scale. I'm about to put him like right there at the statue. It looks awesome with it. So... I mean, I got to put its creator right there, right? One of the creators. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, get this all ready and let's check it out. Hello and welcome back to Reaver Robot. Oh, uh, I just said that, didn't I? Well, yeah, first I can only fit these two boxes right now. This is number two of three. Like I was saying earlier, number one sold out extremely quick. I was waiting for it for a very long time. Um, it makes sense. It has the quintessential X-Men in it. And um, I understand a lot of people just bought that and they kind of said, screw the second one or the third one. Cause I mean, to be honest, it is pretty expensive, but. So, and I really want this diorama for an extremely long time. I saw number one, I wanted to get it. Couldn't at the moment, sold out. It's not sold anywhere right now. Not even the, the basic robot form. So two and three were next. These were getting sold out because the third one, which I'm about to bring in, sold out. And then you could pre-order it again. They did more pre-orders and then it came up again. So two and three are gonna be gone soon. So I figured that, you know what? I'll just get two and three and number one, I'll get later, you know, down the line later with, you know, within this year, hopefully. See if somebody would, you know, give it up or sell me one for really cheap, I hope. <laughs> but I might have to pay, you know, uh, of course, it's not going to be retail if I ever get it. But anyways, I just love the diorama. I love the X-Men. I have various videos on this channel, which is X-Men related. I think I have some uh, Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure. I did uh, the Amazon's, uh, what's it called? Sentinel with Wolverine. And what else? I just have various, you know, X-Men related videos. I think I just, did I do one recently? I don't remember. Anyways, so yeah, so I figured, you know, this is something perfect. I I love the way it is. And also I had to get, like I was saying earlier, Stan Lee. He's, um, I've seen other people with their, it's, it's a proximity piece. I'm not sure if this proximity piece goes exactly with this. I mean, by the way it looks, it kind of looks like it, but there's so many proximity pieces for these, uh, for this whole diorama, one, two, and three. Eventually I'll get those, but this is my first proximity piece for this type of thing. So, um, and this is, I think it's a 10th scale, right? I mean, and the thing is, uh, yeah, it's 10th scale deluxe, so that's pretty cool. It has all, you know, has everything in there. It seems like it has a lot of stuff, like, uh, like, well, Iron Man, well, not, both Iron Man's helmets, Captain America shield, all kinds of stuff that you put on the base, which is cool because there's two types. One's the deluxe, which this one comes with the comic book box, Iron Man helmet, even his signature plate, and uh, Captain America shield. There's a basic one that just is with him, and, and the base is like black. So I was like, you know what? I might as well spend a spend a few extra bucks and get you know this whole thing, which is I think it's better. It's cooler, obviously. So. As for that, I mean, there's probably a thousand videos on these things, but I mean, it's just, it's really exciting to get this piece. It's massive. I couldn't bring all the boxes in this room. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna make it fit in this room. It's just, but I'm good at that. You know, I'm good at putting things together or hoarding. I don't know, there's so much crap in this room. It's unbelievable, but uh, I'll figure it out. Meanwhile, let's get these open and you know, get this out of the way.
right, guys, so here he is. He's pretty big. He's a big, a big boy. <laughs> I actually had to get another type of a swivel, this, uh, this heavy duty swivel, because my other swivel would have cracked and broke, because this thing is actually heavy. And I'm kind of worried. I don't know how I'm going to bring out the other statue, to be honest. But this is an awesome piece, man. Look at this. Everything. This whole, like, you know, the base tells a story. It's a story within itself. It's awesome. And you can see, like, the power of the juggernaut. Like him. All these splinters are going four ways. This is a door. Because you can see the door knocker here. It's a door that's... Part of the door is going this way, that way, this way, and that way. So he's exploding through a wall. This wood looks like it's exploding out in front of him. It's it's badass, man. And then you see um, you see Gambit over here. I think he was focused on you know attacking something here. Meanwhile, this guy is gonna bum rush and blind like blindside him to the you know on, on his well, on his side. So there's a lot of detail. And plus this, I mean, at first at first you think Magneto is destroying the Sentinel. This Sentinel has already has, has gone to hell. It has no legs. It's done. So what's happening here is that um, you can see like this metal part that's going out of his head, like he's ripping it apart. But what it looks like, he's a puppet master. These are strings to a puppet master. So he's using the Sentinel to go against the X-Men. That's what it looks like. So it seems like the, the Brotherhood are, are taking their, their chances or they're taking advantage of the situation that the Sentinels are attacking the X-Men. Meanwhile, he's using it to his advantage. So it's a really cool story piece, man. Look at that. And it's huge. I mean... And also you can see like the cables and stuff. These are all um, sculpted. They're not real, you know, real cables. I know some statues, when they do Sentinels or robots, they use real cables. This is not. So... This is really nice. I have no idea where to put them, but I will bring out the next statue and let's see where that's gonna fit. But yeah, I'm loving this piece. This is really awesome. This blows away, you know, all my other X-Men, Marvel Legends, whatever, all I have. This this is great. So yeah, let's see how, how the other statues like. All right, here's the last one, the third X-Men vs. Sentinel diorama. And this one's gonna be bigger because he's on his feet this time, but uh, there's still like a cool little dynamic. He's getting blasted by Storm, cut by Psylocke, maybe uh, punched by Archangel. I don't know what he's doing, flying by him or whatever. And Kitty Pride is phasing through his thigh, probably damaging the circuitry. And also you have Iceman here. So I kind of, I do like this one because you got the, the whole translucent, like less than a quarter of the, the whole statue translucent due to Iceman, you know, freezing his leg off or something. So looks pretty cool. I really like this and um, it should go well with the others. And uh, yeah, well, let's uh, let's put them together and see and see what's up. Number two. Woo.
go. Already built Sentinel number three. Wow, this is amazing. This is massive. I mean, I usually collect a three quarter, no, 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 I, I apologize, a fourth scale like statues. I don't collect any more like six inch, um, like Marvel Legends. I mean, in this channel, I used to do a lot of Marvel Legends, a lot of uh, build a figure, what's it called, pieces. And um, I would open like uh, a whole wave. I think one of them is X-Men actually, right after Comic-Con. So, um, I mean, I used to do a lot of six inch, but then I kind of moved on, you know, cause six inch is just, when you have so many, it kind of gets lost in the, I don't want to say clutter. I mean, it just, it kind of gets lost in, 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 you know, in the background of things, if you have so many things. So I kind of moved, moved away from six inch. I mean, I do buy like once in a while some cool figures, but not really. I'm really more into fourth scale. So buying like 10th scale X-Men, I mean, the only way I would do it, if it had to do with the diorama, obviously with 10th scale Sentinel. So, I mean, it's just, it commands so much presence. I mean, I bet if somebody walked in this room and looked at all my other stuff, they'd be like, what the hell is that? Or they would actually recognize it. So this is awesome. I mean, even like um, like the translucency of Iceman here, breaking off like part of his leg, it's like they are really in battle. And plus this ground right here, how you you know how heavy and devastating the Sentinel is. He's smashing the ground. Oh, and by the way, this this is a fountain. It's not a satellite. I remember some people like did review this as a satellite. No, he's breaking a fountain. The fountain's right there in the back. So yeah, that's a straight up fountain. And you could see a storm just commanding a lightning bolt going through his armpit. You know, it could be a, a weak point of his. I'll go straight for the crotch. Maybe that'd be a weak point too. Uh, the face looks a little, it looks, it looks awesome. It looks good. It looks, it looks a little weird, kind of a monkey-ish, I want to say. I don't know why I want to say like a, like a, like a gorilla. I, I don't know. But I do like it because it kind of stays true to the cartoon a little bit. Even the colors. I mean, uh, I've seen other, you know, Sentinel statues, which um, they portray a more of a modern look sometimes, which is really cool. But I'm really digging this. I'm really getting the uh, the X-Men cartoon vibes and everything. So, and plus you can see like uh, everything in action. Psylocke ripping through his backside. Meanwhile, she has her Psylocke or her Scion powers going on there. And even uh, Archangel, man, I love how you peg him in. You can barely notice a peg because of his knee right there. So it's like he's flying right by his shoulder. Kitty Pride phasing through him. There's a lot of cool details on this thing, man. And I do see that like the eyes are kind of translucent too. If they would turn on, that'd be excellent, man. I would love that. There's even like a, a glass thing here in his palm for his uh, arm beam or, you know, whatever the stuff they do. So this is really awesome. I think this pose is actually better than uh, than the number one that came out. But number one has all the quintessential X-Men. I mean, it has Wolverine, Cyclops, everybody, you know, everyone that everyone knows about. But this is really awesome, man. It's a massive. It's huge. And well, let's get them both together and, uh, and see how they look.
Here are the two statues put together and it looks awesome. Even though I'm missing the first one, it still looks like an epic battle. Plus the cherry on top, I got Stan the Man Lee right there. I just had to get him. He looks good with all this, like in the middle of battle. I mean, thanks to him, we have this whole, you know, culture of comics, even though outside of X-Men, he's done a lot of things. You all know who he is, Stan the Man Lee. But even though I don't have the first statue, this looks epic anyways. I mean, eventually, like I said, I will get the first one. Uh, hopefully by the end of this year, I'll get it. And I'll do another small video to put them together. And also I noticed, um, I have a, you probably didn't notice, but that's a Marvel Legends six inch figure. So meanwhile, what I could do is I could pull out my six inch X-Men from the closet, get the quintessentials and just kind of, you know, sprinkle them on here. You didn't even notice probably, you see a Cyclops here, you know, taking cover behind this broken fountain. I figured that looks kind of cool. I'll leave them there. So I might just do that and I'll just, I'll post more uh, photos on that, putting other X-Men on here. So, I mean, but other than that, it's awesome, man. It's huge. It's massive. Make sure you have a lot of room and a lot of money to get this. But I've always wanted a huge deluxe Sentinel, not from Hasbro, something more, you know, a little more epic than that, a little more bigger. And this is it. This is amazing. Um, I would, I mean, I would recommend it if you're a huge X-Men fan, but um, it's just, it's really expensive. It takes up a lot of space. And also they might just sell out soon and getting them from, you know, from ebay or something else is going to be just way too expensive but i mean i love the fact i got these two these are awesome these definitely get my seal of approval but uh yeah i mean it's great uh, now i just need to find space after i'm done with this but if you have any questions or comments please leave them below i like to hear them and i like to answer anything and as always you know live long game on like subscribe take it easy peace